Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'll be checking out a new gadget that's been circling around the internet. These what look like USB flash drives in the shape of AA batteries are actually rechargeable AA batteries. But instead of charging them in the traditional way through a charger like this, you can simply plug them into a USB port. I bought them from AliExpress for $5 and this is what the packaging looks like. This seems to be the brand name USB Bat, one word, something like that. Other than that, there are some charging instructions and a sign that says 500 cycles. So probably after two or two and a half years of use, you'll have to throw them away. Or in my case, experiment with them. On the back, it has some other details about the battery. The cardboard back slides right out and this is our star of the day. Now these batteries are 1.2 volts each with a 1450 milliamp hour rating. In technical terms that is quite a bit provided it actually does manage to deliver that. On close up you can see the positive end of the battery is in the form of a detachable cap below which is the USB plug. The cap is attached to the rest of the battery by a small piece of stretchable cord on one side. This is probably to ensure that you don't lose the cap. To charge it all you've got to do is remove the cap and plug it into USB port, USB 2.0, 3.0, on your PC, phone charger, whatever. When plugged, the battery will glow red when charging. The packet says it has to be charged for 7 to 8 hours for the first time. Other than that, it usually takes about 1 hour and 45 minutes for it to get fully charged and the red light changes to blue. I'm gonna connect it now to a voltmeter just for due diligence. It reads 1.3 volts on the voltmeter even though it says 1.2 volts on the cover. So that's good. Now I want to see how this battery performs but at the same time I want to compare it to a conventional rechargeable battery with similar specs. That is why I bought these batteries. These are 1.2 volts and 1500 mAh, a mere 50 mAh more than the USB ones. The only main difference is the charging technique. They came along with their own charger which has to be plugged into a 240V power supply and surprisingly all of this cost a bit less than the two USB batteries. I designed a little experiment to test and compare the durability of the two kinds of batteries and I plan to do it using these fans. These small handheld fans operate using two AA batteries and seem like the perfect candidates for this test. They are exactly identical except for their color. I'm gonna load each one of them with two batteries, one with a USB type and the other with the conventional batteries. I'll switch them on at exactly the same time and leave them until they run out of juice and come to a stop. Then I'll compare their runtime. Let's commence the test now. Ready? Get set? Wait, wait, let's switch places. The red batteries look better in the pink fan. Sorry, let's continue. The fans start with the same energy and speed. 35 minutes into the test, the USB fans are still keeping its pace, but the other ones have slowed down a bit. It's been 50 minutes now, the traditional batteries haven't reduced in speed any further. On the other side, the USB ones are losing their lead. 55 minutes into the test, Mr. Blue is still spinning strong, it hasn't lost much power and speed since the 35 minute mark and the USB seems to approach its last breath. Alright, 56 minutes and the USB batteries have called it. Let's see how much longer can their counterparts last. Another 12 minutes and the blue fan has stopped spinning. So the final times are 56 minutes for the USB batteries and 68 minutes for traditional batteries. The conventional batteries seem to have won, but if you consider that the traditional batteries had a tad bit more of storage capacity than the USB ones, I'll say it's almost an even result. Now I know there are many more brands out there which can perform much better than one hour or two hours but the motive of this test was to compare these cheap innovative batteries with traditional rechargeable batteries of similar specs and cost. And I think they have fared well, plus it has an added advantage that you can charge it anywhere. That makes it perfect for carrying it around in your backpack for basic uses like flashlight or, or, or it's hot and you actually need a hand fan. And if you're curious to know whether you can charge these USB batteries using the traditional charger, this is for you. The charger LED lights on but the LED in the battery is not lighting up. So I would say it's not getting charged. So let's just stick to USB for now. 
That's it for now guys. If you liked this video, hit that like button below and subscribe to my channel for more gadget reviews, life hacks and facts. Make sure you like my page on Facebook and follow me on Twitter, Google Plus and Instructables. Click on the thumbnails to watch my other videos or check out my YouTube channel for more. And as always, thanks for watching.